All right, so pre-screen was like this. So stuck on the right, come back down. And then if we turn and face this way and go abduction, what was it like pre, it was about like that, okay? And your tightness pain felt like what? It was directly right here and it would get worse the further back I went. Okay, and you were told what was your, you're in PT school, you were told what was your problem? That I didn't have enough thoracic spine motion, extension, rotation in order to get my shoulder blade to move well enough for my arm to go all the way up. Okay, cool, now face that way. Do what your motion is now. Okay, so further on the right, any pain? A little bit, but the pain location has changed. Okay, so different location, face that way. Do your abduction again. So full range of motion, where's your pain at now, if any? Now it's in the front, like anterior delt, instead of insertion. Okay, so what did we do with your thoracic spine? Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Does your thoracic, is your, is your thoracic spine in the same position that it was the first time we did everything? Yeah. Okay, so we didn't change anything there. So what we did do is we went through, we found some scapular stave stuff. So we had a little bit of peg, we had some upper traps, middle trap, that kind of stuff. But the big thing was, so if we turn here, so our NFT test, what muscle is that? Serratus. Serratus anterior. Okay, so we treated serratus anterior, and every time she came back and did an isometric after we treated serratus anterior, she got further back. She got to the point where she was almost all the way back, but still said that felt tight. So what did we check next? Bicep. Long head of bicep, which would be a similar one. She passed that, not a problem. So now what are we thinking? We got this to pull her up. Could there be something on the opposing side that's not letting her move? So we checked tricep. long headed tricep. So if she comes up here and long headed tricep is inhibited and won't lengthen, is that gonna stop us from getting full flexion? Yep. So we tr she failed tricep, long headed tricep miserably, treated that, came back up. That's what gave her full range of motion. So law of reciprocal inhibition, if this is not lengthening, this is, this is not pulling her up, this is not going to lengthen, this is gonna fight her from getting to the top of that position. So now that we've got everybody on all sides doing what they're supposed to be doing, now we have full range of motion, her thoracic spine stuck, has nothing to do with anything, and even if it did, if your thoracic spine is stuck, the only way it can be stuck is if muscles are not doing their job. So doing thoracic spine mobs might move her joint a little bit, but it's not going to re-educate her muscles to move her joints. So if you're not re